Now to the governor herself and what she's saying about this case and the danger posed to her and her family. Governor drawing a quick connection between the plot to kidnap her and words recently spoken by President Trump when asked about white supremacists in last week's debate. We bring in local Ford defender Karen Drew with more on the governor's reaction and now the White House is weighing in too, Karen. Oh, that's right, Devin. It was just moments ago the White House issued a statement saying Governor Whitmer is causing division, and that is after some strong words she expressed pointing the finger at President Trump for actually encouraging racist groups to stand back and stand by. She believes those groups heard Trump's word and reacted. It was a news conference Governor Gretchen Whitmer never expected to happen. I knew this job would be hard, but I'll be honest. I never could have imagined anything like this. The governor referencing a frightening plot from two different militia groups, people who have been recently training in the field for this operation, working on making explosives and mapping out a plan to strike at the governor's vacation house in northern Michigan. Who are preparing to kidnap and possibly kill me. The governor thanking those who were able to infiltrate the groups and make the arrests. As a mom with two teenage daughters and three stepsons, my husband and I are eternally grateful to everyone who put themselves in harm's way to keep our family safe. Those words of thanks turned to condemnation of President Trump. Stand back and stand by. Just last week, the President of the United States stood before the American people and refused to condemn white supremacists and hate groups like these two Michigan militia groups. The governor believes that's exactly what these men who are charged in this kidnapping conspiracy heard and acted on. Hate groups heard the president's words not as a rebuke, but as a rallying cry, as a call to action. And the governor went on to say this tension is because of her decisions, her tough decisions she ha had to make in terms of dealing with COVID-19, reminding the public that we are not each other's enemies, the virus is. She went on to say she is hoping the men who are charged in this conspiracy will face conviction.